Today I will teach you everything you need to know about derma rollers aka microneedles for hair loss. Let's go. So why are one of these good for your hair loss? Well, the derma roller causes micro damage on your scalp and in turn promotes growth factors and blood flow to your hair follicles, which in turn promotes hair growth. Also, derma rollers can be a great additive if you're using minoxidil because what happens is that the micro damage that you cause to your scalp actually helps increase the absorption rate of minoxidil, which in turn helps to promote more hair. In terms of the depth of these needles, as you can see there are a lot of them, I personally use a 1.0 millimeter derma roller and I use it once a week. I've seen people using a 0.25 millimeter derma roller, which means that the depth is a lot shorter it doesn't go as deep into the scalp, but they use it daily or once every second day and apply minoxidil. But if you think about it, if you're causing these small cuts into your scalp, you want to give your body enough time for it to heal. So you don't want to constantly cut into your scalp and cause these damages because you want to give time for the scalp and the body to actually heal itself. So I would recommend using a one millimeter derma roller depth once a week. Also, because derma rolling takes such a long time to do, I also recommend just doing it once a week because you want to be able to sustain this for as long as possible, which you cannot do if you want to do it every day or every second day because you will not be able to maintain that for years. So quality over quantity. But a lot of you guys have asked me, how do you actually use a derma roller for your hair loss? So I thought I'd show that to you, but first we need to get my girlfriend. There we go. It's actually quite easy, you just have to follow these simple steps. First, when you press the microneedle, you want to press it on the scalp and you want to go in one direction. In this, we will go in four directions. We'll go vertically, we'll go horizontally. We're going to go diagonally one way and diagonally the other way. Four directions. You don't want to go back and forth with the microneedle against your scalp because what happens is that when you try to go up and down, Imagine the needles will be inside of your skin and when you go up and down you can't go in a perfectly straight line So you will automatically or accidentally move it sideways a little bit And that means that once they're in you will actually tear those cuts Sideways and open them up more which can actually cause scarring so you don't want to do that So what I would recommend is that you put it down go straight ahead Lift it put it down straight ahead and in the same motion 20 times You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to bleed I can show you a photo of what I looked like when I did it to myself All right, so that's a photo of how not to do it You don't want to cause a lot of bleeding if it bleeds a little bit fine, but you don't want to bleed every time you do it so you want to press on the scalp and you just want to have a firm firm pressure not too hard and you just want to go touch run it one direction up then you go back to the starting point and you do that 20 times right so let's say you start it vertically then you do the same 20 in horizontal direction 20 in a diagonal direction 20 in the other diagonal direction but when someone else is doing this to you or when you have a double mirror it's actually much easier to do it this way so, you actually want to go one direction 20 times, one direction 20 times, and you just want to follow that same direction and cover the entire scalp. So you want to go, and you can even you can see, mine is kind of going like that. You can go a little bit on the outside because if you have male pattern baldness, it's progressive. So you can actually reduce the receding hairline or the receding hair by covering some of the thicker areas. So I would do that too, so I would go a little bit outside. So anyway, so 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and then you can go horizontally, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, diagonally, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, the other side, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And that's how you do it. So that's, then you cover sort of the, the top bit, but then on the hairline, what you wanna do is you wanna go same vertically, cover it, horizontally, cover it, diagonally, cover it, diagonally, the other side, cover it. And I always suggest you do 20 at a time. And this is with the one millimeter depth. You should only actually do this once a week. I can't stress that enough. And if you don't have a girlfriend, you can get one of your guy friends, maybe your sister, maybe your brother, maybe your mother, maybe your dad, someone to help you because it's actually easier to get someone else to do it for you than you doing it yourself because you will not be stable with that move. Even though you may have like a surgeon's hand. Yeah. All right, anyways, I actually have my girlfriend. It's not my girlfriend, if that's what you think. I actually do have a girlfriend. I know I've talked about her, but she does exist. Cool. Hi, guys. Cool. So, that's how you do it. Thank you very much. 
I'm gonna apply some minoxidil onto the scalp after microneedling and it's okay that the scalp is a little bit red afterwards. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Spray some there, massage that in, some there, maybe two there. And because my hair is so short, it's actually so much easier to get it into the scalp because when you have longer hair, it gets stuck in the strands. And I know there are ways around this, like using the foam, minoxidil. Ooh, that stinks a little bit. So yeah, because you've just made these micro cuts into your scalp, it is going to sting a little bit, but it's not bad at all. Plus, I mean, there's alcohol in minoxidil, so technically maybe you should clean it a little bit and get rid of unwanted bacteria. Like that, we're done. And I always look at my fingers, and if they're not oily, I know that everything is absorbed into the scalp. Perfect. Right, let's move on to the cleaning. So, when you clean your derma roller, um, when you clean, Victor, can you help me? Victor. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, dude, I need help with this. Okay, so I haven't actually cleaned my derma roller ever. Like I've only used water, but now the guys are watching and like I kind of need to put that into my video because. You're gonna think I'm, I'm a fake. Okay, why? No, so I've, like, yes, I've only used like hot water and just dipped it in a glass and I've just rinsed it. That's actually bullshit as well. I've actually just run hot water on top of it until like I can see the the water evaporate because it's so warm. I thought that was good enough to clean it. So that's what I've used. That's what I've done. All right, so just tell them that's what you've done then. Yeah, but I'm sitting here and the guys are watching. So why don't you run, get me some like, I don't know, like some alcohol to clean it, like a disinfectant and then you bring it to me and then we can just continue the video because I'm kind of under pressure here. But I need to edit this video, I have a deadline, dude. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine, just, just run to the shop. Oh, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, do it. Well, I'll, just, I'll just wait here. So it's one of these that I'm supposed to use. Thanks a lot, man. All right, so let's attempt this. What you need is a disinfectant with the alcohol of at least, I'll put it up here. So what you wanna do is you just wanna pour it into a glass, but I think this glass is probably too big, so I'm just gonna go and grab another one. All right, perfect. So glass like this, and you just wanna pour a little bit more, maybe like, like that, and then you just want to pop it in there. So yeah, perfect. And you just want to let it sit for like three minutes. I can already see like a bit of, that's disgusting. Yeah, so just let it sit for like three minutes and then you can take it out, rinse it with hot water, and that should be done. So that's it guys, short and sweet of everything you need to know before using a derma roller or AKA microneedle for hair loss. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful. I hope you have an amazing day and stay blessed. Thank you very much. My name is Victor Emery and I'll see you in the next video.